Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Pedanology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is ready to go parabolic within the next few days and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of this morning's pre-market analysis video right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always on your way in. Let's get started. So right off the bat, um, we have the SPY right now. We were bearish for quite some time. And in this morning's video, I told y'all to be very, very just patient and see what happens next. I warned you guys about this potential bear flag that could break down right but instead instead of doing that it actually formed this kind of reverse head and shoulders and right out the gates as soon as the market opens it immediately turned bullish and this points right over here let me change this thing to the five this point right over here this is where all of the short sellers left they they cut losses and they left they, they were just mad again um, for all of the short sellers who are in here, who are not, who didn't cut losses, who didn't, who failed to realize that this bearish pattern, which they wanted to be bearish, turned bullish immediately and squeezed everybody out. Um, so be careful out there. All right. Right now, the market is, the market is just being iffy at the moment. So I will cover this one in the morning. All right. Now for the stock of this video, the stock that all of you should be keeping on your watches is P. L B Y. All right. And uh, again, for those of y'all who watched this morning's pre market analysis video, I told you guys that I took all of my money off from shorting this thing since the $44 level and since like the 35 all the way down. All right. So I told y'all that I was out of this. I just wanted to wait and chill to see exactly what happens next, whether this was going to be a dead cat bounce or it wanted to make a move higher. And based off of what happened today, um, this thing is gonna go much, much, much higher. I would personally love to short this thing again, all right? I would love to short this thing over here, somewhere between like 60 and 80. Um, and the sooner and the faster it can get there, the better. Short sellers who are still holding and hoping and wishing for the stock to crumble back down here um they're gonna get squeezed they're getting squeezed right now after hours this thing is at 48 dollars all right and if the market continues to be bullish right if this thing turns green and we see like positive 0 0.20 percent in the morning then we could see another squeeze all right we could see new highs tomorrow so just keep that in mind as traders is very important to adapt all right and this and as the way this one is looking, I think it's gonna go a lot higher. Um, is it time to short it? No, I'm not shorting this thing. All right, and I'm not. I'm. I, I didn't miss this move. All right, I did not touch this one at all. I was on the sidelines. I was just patiently waiting to see what happens next. And honestly, if you want to go long in this, you definitely can. Personally, I would love to short this thing down. I want it to be very, very, very parabolic, right, and very, very high so that I can get in at the top and make money as it free falls all the way down. So keep that one on your watch list for the next few days to the next few weeks. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest, which are always, always great questions. Um, the stock that we're going to talk about, that stock is HD. Since this video about going parabolic, right? Um, short sellers also got into HD right over here yesterday. And I did see some questions about HD, whether it was time to short it or whether it was going to bounce off of support at 322. Um, it bounces, definitely bounce off of support. And I honestly don't think it's going to collapse. I think it's going to go higher. I drew this thing a while ago, right? We are right below it. Um, it's a little slow, but given the current market conditions, given the fact that short sellers got trapped yesterday and some short sellers fell to cover puts this morning after that bear flag failed right we can see this thing squeeze even higher so watch out be very very careful to all of the short sellers out there 
be very, very careful. It's been upgraded by a lot of analysts. Again, um, if you look on the left hand side, it says Bank of America Securities lifts Home Depot's price target to 375 from 360. Again, these analysts, uh, these headlines are just someone else's opinion, just like I'm providing my very honest opinion for all of you, all right? So, but in regards to where this thing is looking, I think it can go higher. I'm not gonna short this thing. It's either I'm on the sidelines or I'm going short or I'm going long or I just want this thing to be very, very parabolic to where the euphoria is just way over the top, all right? But shorting this thing round, it's just not, it's not ideal. It's really, really not. So um, that's my very honest opinion of HD. Now, another stock that we're going to be addressing in this video, we're going to move over to the uh, weed companies, the TL, the T-L-R-Y, Telleray. And Telleray had a pretty solid day today. I was actually watching this thing, um, seeing how it was doing on the intraday. day. It formed a very nice, very, very nice bullish um, pattern here, which turned out really, really good. After hours, it's looking quite nice. If you went long on this one, I think it's gonna go a lot higher. I think, I think the drop is done in regards to the wheat stocks. I think it's gonna either consolidate near 17s, and then eventually it's gonna move into the 20s. Keep in mind that this thing has been destroyed since like the 66 dollar level, and it's currently down by, it's currently down by 75 percent. So to all the short sellers out there who are still feeling a bit greedy and want to tank this thing all the way down to 10, um, just be very careful, be very wise, and uh, don't get too greedy. Take some money off the table, and most importantly, don't get squeezed out of your position, all right? Um, it's been beaten down for quite some time, and it looks like it wants to make it move back up again very, very soon. And the same thing applies for all of the stocks in this sector, all right? Your CGC, Again, CGC, this one is looks much better. And this one is down by 60, 55%. Yeah. So also this one is at the bottom. It's at a previous level of supports right over here. So we may see a bounce followed by another drop, followed by a bounce, and then we continue another uptrend, a very slow uptrend. I don't think it will be super ferocious or anything that um, I just think it will be kind of slow and kind of gradual from this level moving forward. That's my very honest opinions of these weed companies. All right, now um, the other stocks that we're going to be talking about today, we're going to talk about what happened to Netflix. Netflix, Netflix, I told you guys today to watch this thing for a potential shorts. I gave you all the outline of this little pop. It did pop, but it didn't drop as ferociously as i wanted it to go and kind of form this like all day fader here it didn't do that unfortunately could it do it the next day or could it just consolidate here i honestly don't know at this point i really really don't know i just know that what i wanted to see did not happen and it just kept going sideways and sideways and pissing off the short sellers in my opinion so um where is this thing gonna go let me just erase everything right now and see how this is looking so it's looking like it's looking like a gravestone doji, but I don't think it's really gonna get far. I think it's just, we're just gonna stay in here for a while before we cut we start training back up again. All right, um, that's my very honest opinion of it. So watch this thing for a potential dip. Day traders, there is a lot of room for a recovery on the stock, so just keep that in mind. All right, keep that in mind. Um, do not be overly bearish on this one. The drop that I wanted to see did not happen today. So again, just keep it on watch. Just keep it on watch. Um, the next one that we'll be talking about in this video, that is another stock which I actually provided this morning, Peloton. Peloton actually did quite well. It did exactly what I wanted to do, which was the tank, all right? Um, it did exactly that. I told y'all to watch the thing for a short all the way down to the hundreds and it got down to 99, which is excellent. Um, could this thing go down even further? Um, $95 is as low as I think it would go. After that, we might see some a large influx of money get into the stock to push it back up. You know, all right. So uh, for all the short sellers out there, um, hopefully we're able to cash in on that and take some money off the table and not be too greedy. Again, 
we may see like this thing reverse very very soon it's been it's been dropping for quite some time now for quite for quite some time and if that level right here if this level does not break and it just keeps going sideways like this short sellers will get pissed and they will take their money off and when they do you the late short seller will get squeezed okay so just keep that in mind as you are trading as you are shorting this stock be very very cautious and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate and destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on these post market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon and the pre-market analysis videos which are released from monday to friday at exactly 8 15 a.m central time 15 minutes before the market opens if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul nguma and at pedonology lab on instagram and on twitter and facebook as well facebook all right and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with everything you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull. Use my very first link in the description below. Plus again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pedanology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, all right? Enjoy the outro.